What might happen if you gave yourself permission to go play for just one hour during an otherwise ordinary week? What might you discover? What might you awaken? What might you change? As educators, we've all heard the Chinese adage, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. Play is a form of involvement. As educators, we study the importance of playing for early childhood development. We seek opportunities to build play into learning experiences for our developing students. But how many of us attend to our own need to play? How many of us feel stressed out, burned out, and emotionally drained by our day-to-day -day activities? Stress management trainer and coach Joe Robinson suggests that when you're stressed, the brain's activated emotional hub, the amygdala, suppresses positive mood, fueling a self-perpetuating cycle of negativity. Play can break you out of that straitjacket. It can also cut through stagnation at the office. Studies show that playfulness can increase performance on the job and stoke creativity by breaking up the mental set that keeps us stuck. It resets the brain. In the book Play, How It Shapes the Brain, Opens the Imagination, and Invigorates the Soul by Stuart Brown, M.D., Brown explores a vast amount of research related to play in both animals and humans. He speaks of the power associated with play and contends that it energizes us and enlivens us. It eases our burdens. It renews our natural sense of optimism and opens us up to new possibilities. In considering the importance of playing to learn for all ages, we can apply Brown's idea that play creates new neural connections and tests them. It creates an arena for social interaction and learning. It creates a low-risk format for finding and developing innate skills and talents. As teachers, many of us already understand what Brown points out. Sometimes the best way to get the feel of a complicated subject is to just play with it. Brown says, respecting our biologically programmed need for play can transform work. It can bring back excitement and newness to the job. Play helps us deal with difficulties, provides a sense of expansiveness, promotes mastery of our craft, and is an essential part of joy and satisfaction in our work. In the long run, work does not work without play. Rediscover a love of play and share your enthusiasm with others. Take a total of one hour out of the course of your week just to play. Gather together with colleagues to play with new technologies and to brainstorm ways you can use those technologies to enhance student learning. Gather together as a faculty for a game of capture the flag or basketball and discover the ways that play can relieve stress and help you bond as a group. Work with a small group and conduct an exercise in geocaching and brainstorm ways to use that with your own class. When it comes to play, the imagination is the limit. Come on, Kentucky. Share what you're playing, what you're learning, what you're making using hashtag KYGoPlay and inspire others.